In this video, we introduced a slider, a selector that leverages pressure sensing input devices and enables users to perform high precision parameter manipulations by fluidly zooming and sliding. The slider widget behaves like a regular selector, with the difference that users can, while dragging or sliding, explicitly adjust the precision they wish to interact at or zoom by changing the amount of pressure they apply with an input device. Though not integral to the slider design, we use a pressure cursor instead of the default one found in most interfaces. Our pressure cursor provides users with a real-time visual indicator of the pressure they are applying with the input device. As the user slides across the working area, the red needle indicates the parameter's magnitude relative to its minimum and maximum values at the extremes of the widget. The slider also displays a vernier, which adapts its grid spacing depending on the widget's current precision. Notice how the same displacement of the cursor at different granularities translates into different parameter adjustments. The slider provides a clutching mechanism that enables users to completely stabilize pressure and lock the granularity or scale level of the widget. Users clutch by sliding the cursor away from the working area. While clutch, users can still slide outside the working area at a now constant granularity. Re-entering the working rectangle, the clutches. Clutching lets users reach arbitrarily high precision levels. Users do this by repeatedly increasing pressure while they clutched, and decreasing pressure while clutched. Here we see how an inverse series of steps allows users to decrease the scale factor from a high to a low level in a control way. Users can also hold the slider's current scale by using the hover region of the input device. This region allows them to perform macro-parameter adjustments without the need to reacquire a precision level as well as to reposition the cursor as needed. The hover region of the input device also allows users to reach arbitrarily high precision levels. Users do this by repeatedly alternating between increasing pressure and lifting the stylus while remaining in tracking distance. By leaving and re-entering the slider's working area while in the hover region, users can also decrease the widget's precision. Zooming and sliding can be applied to alternate widget designs and interactions. Here we see how sliding allows users to scan a video stream at both coarse and fine levels of granularity. Here we see how a slider can be used to fluidly pan and zoom across an image. Here we see an example of a sliding wheel control. Here's the same idea applied to a floating wheel design. Other designs include this sliding color eyedropper tool. 